How's everyone doing? Today I just got in the Ikoria Lair of the Behemoths Collector's Box. This was expensive, but I really wanted to get it, so I decided to break down and buy this set. And let me know if you play Magic the Gathering, and let me know what deck you enjoy playing the most, and what format you enjoy playing the most, and if you're looking forward to Ikoria Lair of the Behemoths. But now let's go ahead and unbox Ikoria Lair of the Behemoths Collector's Box. Let's check it out. So here we go, here's Ikoria, Layer of the Behemoths, Collector's Edition Booster Box. There's 12 packs in here. And I ordered this from Amazon Japan. It was a little difficult to get the order in, but it came quickly. And this was pushed back, the initial release date was supposed to be in April, but then it was pushed back because of everything going on in the world until May 15th. So I'm happy to get this early. And again, these are more expensive than the regular um, booster boxes. But you get a lot of cool stuff in there. Foils and, of course, the Space Godzilla, which I, every box that I've seen of these that were opened uh, had at least one. Most of them had two, a foil and then a non-foil. So I really think the prices of those will drop. Those Space Godzilla cards are going for, like, the foils uh, they initially were going for, like, over 300 bucks. Now I think they're going for around, like, 130 And then the non-foils are going around for, like, 55 60 um, So I think those will drop a little bit, but they are obviously... Uh, going to be still having some value afterwards uh, after the initial release date because it's only in the first run and then they're going to be renaming them because of that awful name which was just by happenstance because the Godzilla character had that beam um, so you know it's part of his lore but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up you know I didn't have a knife ready for this let's just hope I can do it like this there we go one-handed and there's the back right there, nice foil box. And love that. Gym Razor. Opens up like that. And here are the packs. I was uh, initially a little worried that these were going to be the, the Japanese ones, like in Japanese, because uh, I ordered them from Amazon Japan. But. Uh, you know, the I looked up the ASIN, I think is what it's called, and it said it was the English box, um, and they showed pictures of it in English, and it looks to be in English. So there we go. Um, I am expecting to get at least one of the Space Godzillas, uh, but there's a, I really like the Triumphs. Uh, let me know what you think of those. I would love to get some, uh, you know, showcase foils. All right, I don't have a small tripod, so I had to kind of refigure my large tripod, and hopefully it works this way. Uh, the first pack, and we've got a foil Kraken token, human soldier token on the back, and divine arrow. I love these foils. One of the mind, sleep dart. Whisper Squad, Wingspan Mentor, Trumpeting Gnar, some nice foils, then the islands, you know, these are all the commons, uncommons, and then we get to the really good stuff back here, and I believe this is the Commander card, Souvenir Snatcher, and then Mythos of Snap Decks. I like these kind of like a cave painting style for that. And then uh, Karuga the Macro Sage. Huntmaster Liger. Volpakeet. I've seen a ton of these uh, when people do the unboxings. Everquill Phoenix. I think the artwork for that is pretty cool. The, the extended. And then Dorat the Perfect Pet is the, the Godzilla hit right there. And then Chittering Harvester. All right, pack number two. Hopefully this angle is good. And then Token, Gust of Wind. Suffocating Fumes, Fully Grown. I'll try to go through these pretty quickly. Dire Tactics. And Avenging Hunt Bonder, Lava Brink Vitcher, yes, a Triumph, 
foil triome. I love that. All right. That's one of the ones I wanted to get. I want to get some of the showcase triomes. And it looks like these boxes typically have, uh, you know, two to three each. So parcel beast. Migratory great horn. Cub warden. I do like the artwork for this. Mothra, supersonic queen. I want to get a foil of this one. And then dream fall heron all right anticipate um, let's see daring fiend bonder obosh cool card companion i have mixed feelings on the companion cards let me know what you think down there uh bonders enclave i like that i'm already tired of seeing these uh dreamtail herons regal leosaur all right yes one of these uh, showcase triomes i really love the look of that artwork that is amazing to me i like these triomes in general Gigan, Cyberclaw Terror. Awesome. Also, uh, Gyruda. And the Sea Dasher Octopus. I feel like that's uh, some awesome artwork. It looks gigantic, but it's a 2 2. And the Mutate. I've seen some of these Mutate flash decks that look pretty cool, so I'm excited to try some of those. So yeah, Amazon Japan, um, you know, it was a risk. I kept trying to translate the page because uh, Amazon gives you that option, but it wouldn't translate. It kept failing. So I took the risk and uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I got some triomes, but uh, I'm definitely fully grown. It looks like the same kind of uh, classification artwork. Satiable hemophage. All right, Halden Avid Arcanist. Uh, I haven't seen this one, I don't think. Partner with uh, Peiko, Arcane Retriever. I think I have seen this. I like this, though. Whirlwind Thought. I like that a lot, too. Oh, and a foil Whirlwind Thought. I've seen that in a few of these boxes. There'll be the regular one and the foil one. Majestic Oracorn, Migratory Great Horn, Dirge Bat. What is it going to be? A foil. Yeah, there it is. That's the big hit. Yeah, so again, this is the one that's, you know, the error. Um, obviously, they named it after, or, or rather before, everything going on in the world. And this was an actual that beam that it has. So it's part of uh, the character and his abilities. It just, you know, by happenstance, bad luck. Um but also, it's in a way, it's kind of you know driving up the market for this set. People trying to get this, the collector's sets, things like that. Um, and the only way to uh, get these, I believe, are through the collector's boxes. And they're just doing it for the first run. And uh, yeah, initially when these foils were coming out, they were going for crazy money. Then they were around for 300 Now I think they've dropped to around 130 or so for the foils. And then the non-foils around 55 60 I think they're still going to have value because it's the first run. They're going to uh, reprint them with different names for this uh, going after that. And uh, Godzilla has a huge fan base. So, of course, we got the back one right there. But that is the awesome hit right there. Uh, everybody wants to get that. I think that's just going to be a kind of like a piece of history, not just for Godzilla, but for Magic, too. And let me know when you first got into Magic. I remember I first started playing... Uh, an unlimited and then i took a long hiatus and then i just recently got back into it Oop. i'm giving away some of the some of the hits right there ah i don't think i've seen this one tayam luminous enigma but that is cool it's a three three uh, each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional vigilance counter on it. Remove three counters from among creatures you control. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then return a permanent card 
with uh, converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard into the battlefield. I could see that, you know, with all the, the different decks being done, that being a really powerful classification, which I definitely want to make that classification Storm Herald fling deck, which I've seen a lot of people uh, utilize uh, through um, Arena. But I, I think that's pretty cool artwork. The giant kitty cat. The Ozolith. Oh, yeah, I love that. That is pretty cool. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, it has a counter on it. Uh, put those counters on Ozolith. At the beginning of the combat on your turn, the Ozolith has counters on it. You may move all counters from that Ozolith onto a uh, target creature. So I think that has some good uh, play value. Uh, Piercer, Pouncing Shore Shark. Looks like uh, Street Sharks. You guys remember that cartoon from back in the day? Gem Razor, which is on the box and packs. Godzilla, Doom Inevitable. Also the um, Eudora, Wandering Monster, Giant Turtle. Cub Warden. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the, the Space Godzilla DC uh, and where the value will eventually end up because it is going to be, you know, just that first run. And granted, every box has at least one from what I've seen, sometimes two. Um, and, you know, there are Godzilla fans too. I think it's going to be a part of magic history, Godzilla history, the name, uh, just uh, everything going on in the world, all the history with that. So um, it's going to have some significance and value, but I don't foresee it because it seems to be, you know, again, like one or two a box. I, um, I don't know how many boxes were printed, but... All right. And Flawless Maneuver. I like these, uh, again, the cave drawing style ones. Lava Brink Venturer, Cloud Piercer, Necro Panther. Yes, I love these triumphs. This showcase extended artwork style. Very cool. And then we got another Godzilla. And I'm going to put the go through these real quick and put the, the triumphs out because that's to me uh, I'll put the Godzillas over here too. I like that Ozolith. Uh, let me know what cards you're looking forward to the most in this set. I'm not going to separate everything out. So just looking for uh, kind of the Godzillas and the Triumphs. Maybe a few other cards separated. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm excited for the Triumphs. And uh, there's so many. I love the artwork in here too. Let me know what your favorite artwork card is. I feel like there's so many to choose from. So many amazing um, style, unique, like the comic book artwork style. It's just, I don't know, I think it's just super cool. So we got three triumphs so far. Fast where you draw a card, then discard a card. I like that, actually. Put that off the side, I might use that. Luca. Mountain, Parasitic Impetus, another one of these Mythos, Mythos of Aluna, uh, Quartzwood Crasher Foil, Glowstone Recluse, Cavern Whisperer, ah uh, yes, a Vivian Monster's Advocate, I think that is a very powerful card. Put that over here. Baby Godzilla. And then Dreamtail Heron. I feel like I've gotten a ton of those already. And forgive me on the angle. The angle's not quite good. Uh, the setup isn't perfect. So hopefully if I do more of these in the future, I will have a better setup. I feel like this is a mirror of the pack I just opened. <laughs> Polywag. Commander card. Death's Oasis. Whenever a non 
token creature card you control dies put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard then return a creature card with a lesser converted mana cost than the creature that died from your graveyard to your hand sacrifice it you gain life equal to the greatest converted mana cost among creatures you control all right i like that crystal and giant i do like this card and i think the artwork is pretty cool too Auspicious Sterix, Cavern Whisperer. All right, Snapdecks, Apex of the Hunt. Some crazy artwork there. And Destroy a Perfect Life Form. And then Pouncing Shore Shark Foil. Getting down to the last few packs. Jungle Hollow. I like these ones too. Ooh, I like that artwork for that. The Phase Dolphin. Another Phase Dolphin attacks. Another target attacking creature can't be blocked this turn. All right. You tap target creature. Flame Spill. Flame Spill deals four damage to target creature. Excess damage is dealt to that creature's controller instead. I like that. Reptilian Reflection. Cycle. All right. Dredge the Mire. I like that too. Each opponent chooses a creature card in their graveyard. Put those cards onto the battlefield under your control. What? Crazy power. Some of these cards do are have so much power. And then of course with Crasher. And then yes, General Kudro of Dranith. I like that card a lot too. Lord Dracus Dracus Mutate. Migratory Great Horn. Sea Dasher Octopus, Godzilla, Primeval, Champion Foil. Lots of Godzilla goodness in here. All right. Last three packs. Catbird. Another Jungle Hollow. Phase Dolphin. Checkpoint Officer. Back for more. Return target creature card. Uh, from your graveyard to the battlefield, when you do, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. All right. Agitator Ant. Uh, extinction Event. Choose Otter Even, XL. Uh, each creature with converter mana cost of the chosen value. Whew. Voracious Great Shark. I like that. The Flash. Um... And uh, when it enters the battlefield, counter target artifact or creature spell. And you have a 5 4 out there. Granted, it's 5, but I like that one. I'm going to use that one probably for sure in a deck. Ah, uh, yes, another triumph. I would like a foil of these triumphs, please. And Dotha Triumph. All right, a King Caesar, a Woken Titan, foil. And Cloud Piercer, the last two. Can I get another Space Godzilla in here? And please, a uh, Showcase uh, Foil Triome. That's what I'm looking for. Um, there's a few other cards that I think are really powerful. I'd like to get a Luka. Um, there's, a, there's a few different other cards that I'd like to, to get in here. But so far, I'm happy with that. I definitely like the, the Triomes. Neutralize. I think that's a, a powerful card. Again, it's, it's three, so... Uh, there's a few other cards that I think have value for the counter spells, but Call of the Death Dweller. Return up to two target creature cards from uh, with a total converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, put a Death Touch counter on either of them, then put a Menace counter on either of them. Interesting. Three ants, not bad. Boop, boop, boop. Sanctuary Blade. A Sanctuary Blade becomes attached to a creature, choose a color. Equipped creature gets plus two plus zero, has protection from the last chosen color, equip three. Another Ozolith. I like that. Where's my other Ozolith over here? Somewhere that I have a messy, uh, here we go, messy stacks off to the side. So this is that extended artwork, and then there's the foil. And then Genesis Ultimatum. I haven't seen any Ultimatum. I think this is my first of the Ultimatums. Regal Leosaur. Vulpakeet. Nice. I like that. Yeah. 
a Luna Apex of Wishes. That artwork is just so cool. Freaking love that. And there's the other Space Godzilla. Again, I've been saying it, like at least one uh, a box, uh, two usually is what I've been seeing. One foil, one non-foil. So there we go. There is the other Space Godzilla. And then a Necro Panther. I don't think I've seen any with a double foil of the Space Godzilla. So we'll DC, we'll see. Spring Jaw Trap. Blazing Volley. Migratory Great Horn, Tranquil uh, Cove, which oh, I love that artwork. I dig that. I'll, I'll use that for sure in a deck. Uh, General's Enforcer. And uh, Indatha Crystal. It's an artifact. Again, cycling. I see a lot of these cycling decks now being uh, used on Arena. And Deadly Rollick. If you uh, control a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. Exile target creature. That could be powerful. Slither Wisp. And uh, Frontland Felidar. Vigilance creatures you control. Vigilance have one tap target creature. Insatiable Hemophage. Look at that artwork. Ah. Vulpakeet, some crazy art. Nice, another Triome. I dig the Triomes. And then a Dorat, perfect pets. And then a Partial Beast Foil. So that is, that is everything. I'm happy with the Triomes, especially. There's my uh, my Triomes and then a bunch of the Godzillas. So let's take a closer look right here. Yeah, we've got lots of good Triome goodness right there. And then, of course, that's what we came here for, right? That's what everybody wants to see in these. And uh, again, let me know what you think of those cards, the, how the value will stand up for them, what you think they'll go for. Uh, and let me know what your favorite card from this set is and your favorite artwork. Let me know what you think of the Triomes, um, all that good stuff. So there you go. There was my unboxing of the Coria Lair, the Behemoth Collector's Box. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, leave me some comments down below, and I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.